All right, we're gonna diagnose the long brush on a Haga 697. First thing you're gonna do is remove your brush. We're gonna figure out what the problem is. Is the brush not turning? There's two reasons the brush won't turn. One, you'll have a, a broken uh, brush holder or a stripped gear on the, on the motor. Take and push, rotate your, your brush holder till you find the tab. And if you find this notch right here, you'll see the tab. It says push. Let me get a light on it. Right here, it says push on it. Now take your thumb, push till you hear it click, and the brush will release. Now, turn your unit with a straight screwdriver. Find the notch on your wheel clamp. Should be one on the top and one on the bottom. Work your screwdriver gently behind your wheel clamp pry it out now once you get it out take and pull it make sure you don't lose the spring pin set that aside now remove the wheel to remove the wheel work your screwdriver behind the wheel and pull at the same time the wheel will come off now you're going to check your pinion now if, if the pinion is stripped, all the teeth will be removed from it. You'll want to check your worm gear. If the teeth are missing here, these are going to be worn or, or missing also. Okay, now this one appears to be in good shape. So remove the long screw from your pinion. Hold your brush holder on the inside while you remove the screw. Remove your long screw and your washer. Do not lose your washer. Now, just remove your gear and clutch assembly. Checking your teeth. These teeth are in good shape. Remove your axle. You have a bearing on your axle. You have a bearing on your brush holder. There's two bearings per side. If your gear is stripped, more than likely, you're gonna have one or more of these bearings that are seized up or are about to seize up. Turn your bearings, you hold them with your finger while you turn them, you'll be able to feel them. If they're seized, they won't turn. If they <clears throat> have water has gotten inside of them and has rusted the bearings, they're gonna feel really rough when you turn them. This one is turning smooth, so this bearing is good. Check your bearing on your brush holder. Turn your bearing. Your bearing turns smooth, it's okay. If it feels rough at all, it'll have to be replaced. Now, usually when you have seized bearings, a stripped gear, you also are gonna have a stripped or a broken pin. This pin will be broken off so that when you remove your axle, you'll find part of this black plastic will be lodged inside here because it, sh it shears it off. These two lock together like this, the screw holds them together. So it breaks it off on the inside, so you'll find it in here. You'll have to replace your brush holder if you have a broken pin. Now, if you have a bearing that is, that is seized up and you need to remove it from your brush holder, take an Allen wrench, use it as a lever. Go beside the tabs and pry upward gently. You'll feel them release. Now you've removed, removed your dust cover. To remove the bearing, lay your, br your brush holder on a flat surface with two straight screwdrivers. Just pry the bearing off the shaft and the bearing will slide right off. And vice versa, when you replace your new bearing, put your new bearing on, slide it over the shaft, push down until the bearing seats Replace your dust shield. Locking all the tabs in. There's six tabs. Make sure they're locked in. Okay. Now, we'll go to the other side to check the brush holder and bearing. Same as the opposite side. 
remove your wheel clamp. Make sure you don't lose your spring pin. Screwdriver behind the wheel. Now this side, there's a drive gear on the inside. Make sure you don't uh, <clears throat> swap sides with this because it's matched to this side. It's a universal. You can flip it to work on the other side or to work on this side. That's for the manual units, but the, the power units only have one drive gear on the left side. Remove your screw from your pinion. Give it a tug, it'll come out. Check your bearings. Check your pinion, make sure the teeth are, are still square and they're not uh, worn to one side. Bearing's good. Check your brush holder. Make sure your pin is intact. Like I said, if you if you have a, a, a seize bearing, you're probably gonna have a, a broken pin. So this one seems to be in good shape. Replace your brush holder back into the machine. Reinstall your pinion. Now keep in mind your tabs have to lock together with the brush holder. Push and rotate at the same time. You'll feel the two lock together. If you hold the other side, they'll lock together and they'll both turn as one. Reinstall your screw. When you put the screws in, don't over tighten because you'll strip the plastic. Now, replace your gear and wheel assembly. If by some chance you drop it or the gear comes out, install the gear on the, on the machine and you should be able to turn it one complete revolution. If you have the gear on on the wrong side, it'll turn roughly an eighth of a turn before it locks up. If you feel this, take the gear off, flip it over, reinstall it on the unit. One revolution. Now reinstall your wheel with both hands. Apply pressure and walk the wheel back on. Your axle shaft should be flush with your bearing. Reinstall your wheel clamp. Make sure you haven't lost your spring pin. You want both clamps, one on upside, one on the downside. Never install your clamp like this, always like this. Slide into the unit, push until you hear a click. The wheel clamp should be recessed inside about 3 30 seconds of an inch. Okay. You wanna install your brush holder on the opposite side. Install your pinion. Remember your tabs. Here's where it's 8,000. Bells, what roll? All the way in the back. Both should turn as one unit. <clears throat> if you replace your pinion, remove your clutch spring from your old pinion gear. You're gonna install it in your new one. You have a tab on one side, smooth on the opposite side. You want the tab to go into the gear first. Take your finger and you wanna rotate it. Go in a clockwise motion and just rotate your spring in. Make 
Your spring should sit inside your gear like this. You should be able to see your tab on the opposite side. Now your pinion shaft has a notch and you want the tab on your spring to fit into this notch. Take and line up the two. Now your spring should set in the notch like this right here. Now your long screw and washer. Your washer has a has a tab. That tab is going to line up with your notch. Insert, insert the washer first. It should fit, sit flush all the way around. Now we're going to tighten the screw up. Hold pressure on the inside while you're tightening the screw. Snug your screw up and then back it off an eighth of a turn. You want the two to be able to slide together with no friction. There you go. When you turn it forward, you should be able to spin the motor gear. Backwards should freewheel. Now take your right wheel, install on the unit. With both hands, apply pressure. wheel should turn free the shaft should be flush with your bearing take your wheel clamp make sure you haven't lost your spring pin insert same as the other side clamp up clamp down push till you hear a click should be recessed 3 30 seconds of an inch Now to reinstall your long brush, turn your brush holders until your notch is visible. You'll be able to see your tab. Opposite side the same way, rotate till you see your notch and your tab. Install one end of the brush into the brush holder, doesn't matter which side. Line your brush up with your, with your notch. Apply pressure. Now, you'll have to take, use a hammer to seat your brush. Just give it a light tap. And you'll see your tab is in the outward position, locking the brush in. Same with the opposite side. Tab out, brush is locked in, and you're done.